that has been the question <coughs> all along because if you say the government to regulate the church, do they have the instruments? Do they have the tools? Do they have the tools? It is the same church that has the tools which is supposed to regulate the church because the only existing tool that can regulate the church is the Bible. So, what we need to be put in place is self-regulation for the church. This self-regulation can only happen when the ministers makes a choice or decides to be disciplined. Unfortunately, today we have so many purporting to be ministers of the gospel, but very indisciplined. Because what Pastor has just said, when this initiative, like for example, Champions Table is coming up, the meaning of Champions Table is where four pastors come together. And that is mimicking the relationship which was between Jesus Peter, James, and John. And John. Yeah. So those were the inner circle where Jesus would open up and he would take this to the next level if he had any kind of close thing that he wanted to share. They would go to the next extra level where the other disciples were not allowed. So today, not many uh, or quite a number of ministers are not ready to embrace such kind of uh, you know, arrangement. And that is a biblical way of ensuring that we have what we call accountability partner. Failure to have accountability partner, people can go rogue and they can do weird things. And that is what we are seeing at Shakahola. I am, can assure you there isn't anywhere in the Bible that is encouraging that we fast until we die. Nowhere. Read from Genesis to Revelation. That is not the Christianity that we are preaching. It is not the gospel that we are preaching. That is just, you know, a dogma and an understanding which somebody has gotten from, I can call it from hell. Because how can you lead people to fast to the point of their death while you, the leader, you are not doing that kind of fast? Why can't it begin with you? So that the rest can follow. Jesus has taught us that as leaders, servant leaders, we should lead by example. You shall know them by their fruit. This pastor is not leading by example. He would have led by example. Then he was supposed to be the first candidate to die. But him is eating well, sleeping well, and telling other people to fast until they die. I think I have an issue also even with the followers. Because one of the first things you are supposed to establish in any church, live alone now for Mackenzie, any gathering where you are, Follow your leader according to the action, his lifestyle. And even Paul, apostle, is writing and say, follow me as I follow Christ. Because Christ is the example that we have as a role model. If you are not going to follow that biblical model kind of mentorship, then anything else out of the Bible is just human and it's just an ideology which is not biblical. Okay. Yes. Just to just to add on that regulation, you know, the church has been an enemy to itself. Regulation can only be done by the people themselves. I mean, most bodies they regulate themselves. If you look at the the engineers board, the LSK Law Society of Kenya, they regulate themselves, and because they are the people who know how they behave, the church lost it. I think after. Uh, people started forming their own organizations because the National Council of Churches of Kenya, the NCCK, was supposed to be the umbrella body of the church, which was supposed to be really regulating the, the church. But because of certain issues, people went their own way. And so the NCCK has now uh, been uh, left to only the mainland churches. And you see the mainland churches are still behaving very well. And so these others which have come, they have nobody to regulate them. They have nobody to regulate them. They have nobody to, to talk about them. The pastor, somebody just have a, a, a gift of speaking and then he calls himself a pastor. And then he draws so many people to him. These people are not reading the word. Most of these churches, they don't have even a discipleship problem. When somebody gets saved, he is a new person. He is a spiritual being. He needs, he needs to be brought to know what to be done 
as a Christian. He is, needs to be taught. Even Paul, with his own his knowledge and understanding and his education, Paul had to go through a discipleship program for some almost a year. Yeah? Then that is when he went to preach. But majority of uh, Christians nowadays, you just get a gift, you get saved today, tomorrow you're preaching, and the next day you are a pastor, the next day you are a bishop, nobody has really discipled you. And so those are the failures that we have in the church that we have not put a mechanisms of discipling people to tell them that the main thing that you need to look at is the word of God, not the people. Don't follow people. Paul, follow the word of God. If somebody goes out of the word of God, however much you respect them, then you need to leave them alone. They call themselves apostles. But if apostle is doing something which is not apostolic in its sense, leave them. But the, the majority of us, because also these people, they, they, they take advantage of our, our, our uh, we don't want to read the word. And so people, people don't read the word of God. So I will advise people to read the word of God. Go to church where people believe the word of God. And people are not following a person. People are following the word of God. Because the word of God is what, what is leading us. Many of these churches where you see all these things happening, they are following people. They are people followers. They are following an apostle, but following the man of God. What is the man of God speaking into my life? That That is not what is the word of God speaking. They are following somebody's grace, where the grace of God is there. We have the grace of God. And somebody saying, you, 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 you are tapped to my grace. No, that is not the word of God. So you need to really look at the basics where are the people going people need to start from the basic the word of god and the word of god is what should take us wherever we are